you guys try to help out little brother as much as possible. I know you guys are around a lot. What is it that you guys saw that you thought, let's bring in a shooting coach, you know, let's, let's go out and get some outside help? Well, this has actually been uh, in the making for a while. Um, this is nothing new, actually. Um, I knew Keith since we go back from our, our Nike experience, All-American camp, even the Jordan camp. So he works with the likes of everyone, Ben Gordon, LeBron James, you know, a lot of people. So I know him for years, and we've been discussing getting him and Reek together. It was just scheduling conflict a little bit. He's a busy guy. Reek, you know, had his little run with the Kings, being on the high. He was in high demand. They do a lot of stuff, you know, even – away from the season. So when the season was done, we tried to always, you know, get together and do a camp or something or get him from D.C. and get Reek down there, but we never can get it all together. But it's like, it's like okay, he's struggling and all we need, we need help. No, this is something that actually we've been having fruition and we thought we was going to actually get it done ahead of time and sooner, but now it's better now. He's because Reek's been asking for him to come out here for a while. His schedule's now open, so here you go. Okay, you've had him out here for a week. How much have you worked with him? What sort of like, what's the regime been? Um, it's just been um, fixing the shot, you know, like Keith's been real good at making him, you know, keep the ball chest area. You know, he got some great drills that Reek's been, you know, um, adapting to. And he's just not, not changing the shot, but correcting it. You know, Reek, Reek had a great shot, you know, in high school. If you watch some of his film, he shot great. He, you know, just keeping the ball high and the follow through and just, you know, bringing it from his chest. It's just the basic stuff, you know, it's breaking it down, taking it back to the beginning and rebuilding from there. So. Got some good results, you know. Uh, he's getting his confidence back, and I think you guys will see it when it's translated when the next time you play. How is he doing um, with his foot and doing these workouts? Because I'm, you know, you hate to, but people are gonna say, well, he's still able to work out with the shooting coach, but he's. It's not 100. percent I mean, you can actually see him dragging it. Yeah. He's actually using a lot of arm extension to get a shot off. Coach Keith Smart sat right here, and we kind of were looking at his foot. He winced a little bit here and there off the shot, especially when he got to stand high and jump and elevate. You can see him wincing a little bit. Um, the pain is still there. I mean, it's no secret that he did, you know, he rolled his ankle. I mean, people saw the game, saw the uh, replay. He rolled his ankle, swelling there. But he's a fighter. He's a warrior. He want to actually play, you know. And I think it's best that he don't play until he get 100% um, healed. But um, yeah, he's you know he's the kind of kid. You, know, you break his thumb, he'll try to shoot and still play. You know, he want to play in the actual game. But I'm glad the Kings decided that he's not ready yet because you know. Last year, year, you know, previous year, he actually went go out there and he's tried to play on through injury. Playing tough, that's you know, he, he tried to play through injury and he, he never got himself 100% healed to come back the right way. So now he's starting to mature and say, okay, I'll sit out and I'll take their advice and I actually sit out and wait till I get 100% healed before before I go back on the court. Now you talk about maturation. Do you feel like this is a big move for him to like to reach out and say, you know what? I could use some help in this situation. Well, it's showing his maturity level. It's showing that he's starting to take the game as a business, you know, and not just come in like it's a pickup game and, you know, get on the court, you make a few shots, you miss a few shots. He's starting to understand that this is his livelihood. This is his business. You know, this pays him. And he's taking it a lot seriously. I mean, he, he you know, like I said, we Reggie had this thing planned. From, this is what we do. We're going to do in the offseason anyway, you know, just work out, you know, all this stuff right here. But the fact that we never really got in them. We, you know, talk all the, on the phone all the time, him being back home and me here. It's like, look, <clears throat> the shot's struggling. It's really, really bad. You know, we need to, we need to do something now. So we, he decided to wait till the, they had the nice home game stretch and bring Keith out and, uh, you know, in between games, you know, work with him. Reek wanted to do two a days, but we're not doing a lot of mobile stuff because of his ankle. So like Reggie said, most of his shots are coming from his upper body, but it, it still see a vast improvement, though. Now, yeah. is he? Um, I, I know everyone knows that he has a propensity to lean back on his jumper. Are you guys working? Is that one of the aspects that you're working on? Of course, on? Now I can explain that. So a lot of people want to know why he lean. Why do Tyreek Evans lean? And it's funny because, you know, growing up, he was always smaller than everyone. He was considered a phenom. He played 12th grade ball as a 12 year old. So he was seventh grade playing varsity. And if you go back, and people know and read, and read about his story, he was a, considered a phenom. He played varsity ball. He played against 17-year-old guys at AAU. He was 12, being 5'11", and you playing against 6'8 guys. So to get a shot off, that's what he practiced doing. So it became a, a bad habit, but it worked for him. So you see a little kid at 12 playing against 12th graders, and you see them you know, leaning to get their fadeaway on. It's like something that Jordan doing his latter years. He's doing it at 12 years old against taller opponents. So it became a habit. It's like trying to break a bad habit, but that's what happens. It was the gift and the curse of being that good, that young, and now you develop a bad habit of leaning back to get the shot off over big guys. And he just grew to be 6'6". So now he's doing it 
at 6'6". Six, six. Against little guys. Against little guys, he's just doing that bad habit. And that, that came when he was younger to get a shot off over big opponents.